Animals have four types of tissues. Epithelial tissues, muscle tissues, nervous tissues, and connective tissues. Epithelial tissue is found both on the outside of the body and the linings of organs and cavities within body. Epithelial tissues are classified by three main shapes, squamous, columnar, and cuboidal. Simple squamous epithelia are thin and good for diffusion. They are found in blood vessels and air sacs of our lungs. Stratified squamous epithelia regenerate rapidly. They are found at abrasion sites such as outer skin, linings of esophagus, anus, and vagina. Simple columnar epithelium lines our intestine. It secretes digestive juices and absorbs nutrients. Pseudostratified columnar epithelia secretes mucus in our nasal passage with beating cilia. Cuboidal epithelium functions in secretion and absorption in kidney tubules and many glands. Skeletal muscles has striated tubular multinucleated fibers, and it is voluntary. Smooth muscle has spindle-shaped, non-striated, uninucleated fibers that are involuntary. Cardiac muscles have striated, branched, uninucleated fibers. They are found in the walls of the heart and have intercalated disc and gap junctions. Nervous tissue sends stimuli and transmits signals. Neurons transmit impulses via axons. And glia nourish, insulate, replenish, and modulate neurons. Lastly, connective tissue binds and support other tissues. There are three types of connective fibers. Collagenous fibers provide strength and flexibility. Elastic fibers stretch and snap back. Reticular fibers join connective tissues to adjacent tissues. There are six main types of connective tissues. Loose connective tissue binds epithelia to underlying tissues and hold organs in place. It includes all three types of fibers. Fibrous connective tissues are dense with collagenous fibers, and they are found in tendons, which attach muscles to bones, and ligaments, which connect bones at joints. Bone is a matrix of collagen and hard mineral, including calcium cation, magnesium cation, and phosphate anion. Cartilage is the padding that covers and protects the ends of long bones at joints and nerves. It consists of collagen and chondroitin sulfate. Adipose tissue store fuel as fats. It also pads and insulates the body. Blood is composed of blood cells suspended in blood plasma, which is liquid extracellular matrix consists of water, salts, and dissolved proteins. Thermal regulation is the ability of an organism to keep its body temperature within certain boundaries. Homeotherms keep a constant body temperature, whereas poikilotherms body temperature varies with the environment. Endotherms generate heat by metabolism, such as mammals and birds, whereas exotherms gain heat from external sources, such as reptiles. Adaptations for thermal regulation include insulation by skin, feathers, fur, or blubbers, circulatory adaptations, which include vasodilation or the widening of superficial blood vessels, which increase heat transfer, vasoconstriction or the narrowing of blood vessels, which reduces blood flow and decreases heat transfer. Countercurrent exchange facilitates the transfer of heat between fluids that are flowing in opposite directions, such as warm artery and cold veins. Evaporative heat loss includes sweating and panting. Behavioral responses refer to posture that minimize or maximize absorption of heat. Lastly, thermogenesis or metabolic heat production through shivering or burning brown fat. Osmoregulation maintains the fluid balance and concentration of electrolytes in the organism. Stenohalines can't tolerate substantial changes in external molarity, whereas urehaline can survive large fluctuations in external molarity. Osmoregulators expend energy to control water uptake and water loss, whereas osmoconformers are isoosmotic with their environment. Marine bony fish is hypoosmotic to water. They experience osmotic water loss. They drink water, excrete salt ions, and produce scanty urine. Freshwater bony fish are hyperosmotic to water. They experience osmotic water gain. They don't drink water, but they take in salt ions and produce dilute urine. Marine birds use nasal salt glands to remove excess salts. Tardigrades can enter anhydrobiosis and they use trihalose to protect cells by replacing water that is normally associated with proteins and membrane lipid. Metabolism refers to the life-sustaining chemical reactions in organisms. 
BMR or the basal metabolic rate refers to the minimum metabolic rate of a non-growing endotherm at rest. SMR or standard metabolic rate refers to the metabolic rate of a fasting, non-stressed ectotherm at rest at a specific temperature. Turper refers to a state of low metabolism in animals. Hibernation is a long-term turbor during winter when the weather is cold and the food is scarce. Animals maintain low body temperature and metabolic rate. Estivation is a long-term summer turper. Some animals exhibit daily turper, mostly adapting to their feeding patterns. Acclimatization refers to a gradual process by which an animal adjusts to changes in its external environment.